uh, Amy, Harry and Meghan's new lifestyle and polo shows announced by Netflix. What can you tell us? Well, we have all been waiting with bated breath, haven't we, to see what will they do next? Yeah, right. Since their last <laughs> um, Netflix endeavour. Um, they're on that big five-year deal, which is worth about a bazillion pounds. So I think Netflix is really keen to get some good content mm. out of the pair. So what have they gone with? <laughs> well, they've gone with... Megan's going to do a show about cooking, gardening and lifestyle. She's going to produce it. It sounds a bit rubbish to start with, but then I read that it is being produced by the, the guys that made Chef's Table and that Pepsi Stole My Jet. That was quite good. Those were quite good documentaries. Mm -hmm. So it could be OK, but I didn't know Megan could cook. Maybe she's getting chefs on board. Um, and well, then... we didn't know Brooklyn Beckham could cook. And look at, look at <laughs> and what then he's doing. And then he made that excellent <laughs> well, no, cheese but, but, sandwich, well, didn't look, look how his profile's increased, <laughs> increased even more. I mean, it might be, if it's well-produced... You know, everybody will want to gawp at... If it's filmed at her home, they'll want to gawp right. at the kitchen and gawp yeah. at the garden and, and she's everything. she's back into lifestyle, cos she originally had that The Tig um, lifestyle mm. website. And then I think Emma was telling me she's got a new blog. What's or, the blog Riviera called? Riviera Orchard. Riviera Orchard. All ties in nice. So Megan's in the kitchen <laughs> and Harry is getting back out on the polo field and is going to be making um, a documentary about the secret world behind yes. polo. So I, I read that's going to be I, something in the theme of... Have you seen Drive to Survive on Netflix, the Formula yeah. One documentary? It's behind the scenes, all the sort of action and bravado, so maybe something what like that. What is the action behind Polo? Well, yeah, I mean, exactly. You should but what, watch but the what programme you forget, and find out, Amy. What you forget is, is Netflix is a worldwide audience. OK, maybe not everybody in the UK will, will like Polo, but it is played in dozens of countries all over the world. Yeah. And, and it's very popular, so... Mm. And it could be an audience for it somewhere. I mean, what if, you know, great telly if Harry falls off a horse. And, and I, I remember would, I would um, watch the polo series. What was the Queen's Gambit? That made chess interesting. Mm. So, you know, any subject can be made interesting. So <laughs> any let's, subject, see, like let's see what you do. It. Or polo. So, do you remember Som about wine? Well, Emma, that, that is, that's the like, point, isn't it? They could make documentaries or uh, films about slugs. <laughs> in their kitchen, and it would be a hit because people don't just, give them ideas. People just want <laughs> to see what they're up to, don't they? Yeah, I mean, some people will watch it because they're maybe they're genuinely interested, or some people like me will go up because they want to see what sort of this is the latest ridiculous thing that they've got themselves up to while they're trying to sort of bleed talent from a stone. Um, Do you think the royal family will get a mention? I think. <sighs> Well, I mean, possibly on the polo side of things. Mm. Um, I find it very difficult to imagine, given that that's their whole USP, that they're not going to find a way to shoehorn that connection in there somewhere. Or well, Meghan might. Otherwise, it's I've no actually got an idea to watch them. Do you remember what the Queen bought Baby Archie for Christmas that year? It was a waffle maker, <laughs> right? And Meghan was like, yeah, I shouldn't really say, but um, I'm going to tell you the Queen bought Archie a waffle maker, so maybe we could actually see <laughs> the waffle maker in it. Or Meghan may on drop a bombshell. Program. She might <laughs> reveal that she was oppressed when in the royal family and she wasn't allowed to cook an omelette or something.